Hey, I'm Grant, and welcome to the State of the Channel for May 22nd. So, what's up this week is going to be Wednesday. It's going to be Dead Rising Chop to Drop. I believe this is the second to last Dead Rising Chop to Drop. I wrap up overtime mode in that game, and all that's left for next week, I think, is just some of the random odd jobs that the game has put in instead of Infinity Mode, so it should be pretty fun. I also put out last week a small little cooking video I wanted to use to kind of like test some live action things. Because one of the reasons of doing these little like stay of the channels or that cooking video is it lets me just try new things and figure out basically what I'm messing up before I do something more important. So like in that cooking video, one of the issues I had to solve in the future is just how do I light my apartment? Like lighting my apartment's very bad. Essentially there's the kitchen, which is a very bright white light but it's also right above me and then I have a light behind it in what's basically my laundry room but it's this really low dim bulb. So how do I make that look good when there's no way not to show it looking into there? And I have a couple solutions but basically the point is make that video, let it kind of have some of the issues and that way I can fix them before I have a big project. Which on that note, also today, coming around the same time as this video, I have this first attempt at a podcast. And so I'm a software dev and in software dev right now, there's a big focus on agile and agility. And as part of that, you have iteration based programming and software and all that. So the idea is rather than doing what's called waterfall, where you basically start at the very beginning and then do everything all the way up until you have the entire product, that doesn't really give you a lot of feedback. So instead you do what's called iterations where it's like, what's the bare minimum I need to do to push this out the door. Doesn't have to be a great product, doesn't have to be perfect, just get it out there so you can get feedback. And that's something I'm really trying to apply to this podcast is I don't wanna spend months perfecting the cameras, perfecting the mics, perfecting like what the format's gonna be, just let's do something so I understand what I need to change. And that's what the video that came out today is. So I don't really expect it to be anything too crazy. Like I put it out there mainly just because like, hey, I did it. I wanna make sure I know if I'm gonna release it, I'm gonna hold myself to editing it. And I definitely learned a lot. It's something that there's a lot of small things that go into doing that, all ranging from the technical side, like how do I physically fit three tripods with three mics all in this tiny little space and then also light all the people on top of that? That's kind of hard. But then there's like this nether layer where like, how do you run this to be interesting? And I actually have a section before the podcast where I talk about kind of how I think it went. And that's something that just really has to be experimented with based on who's there, what the setting is, what we talk about. It's a skill that I've been working on getting better at because I have no training, I'm not a TV host. But it's like, how do I make sure like the conversation is moving on? How do I make sure I'm not rushing people? How do I make sure I'm including everyone there? And then there's a whole nother layer on, how do I edit this? Like this is an issue I, that came up with D&D when I originally filmed that is I needed to get way better at editing because it's a ton of footage. Like honestly, D&D or this, it's about four tracks of video that I have to cut between and it's conversation. So it's like you cut every 30 seconds and you do that for like an hour. And that's actually a lot of technical work, but I don't want this to be something that takes 20 hours to make. So that's just been like me going back and forth and just learning more and more new stuff. I think what the goal is, is I'm going to essentially put out, I want to say five to 10 test episodes. These are things that are not gonna be considered actually part of the podcast as it is going forward. It's just kind of like they're there. I think of it like a uh, season zero. So I'm not, right now I'm not committing to say doing one a week. I'm not committing to so many necessarily coming out, but basically I want to make five and then every single time we do an iteration, we'll try and step in and fix some things. Like I actually got some mic stands that are freestanding on the floor. So hopefully we can fix some of the sound issues. And hopefully next podcast, we can see how that improved and what, what I need to take as the next step. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, you can follow me over on Twitter. Let me know anything you think of the series or what I should do next. That's always super helpful. And I'll see you guys next week.